Hello, it's Monday morning in the middle of July in sunny Ballater. The place is looking beautiful, the plants are all out throughout the village and come in for the monthly newsletter out of the Ballater Gallery. Have a look at the incredible new Joe Hargens. We've got the debutante, uh, which I'll tell you all about later. And then we also have in the window a look behind and below that a wonderful um, Glenn Schooler painting and on the right hand side a Jenny Matthews. So come in for a proper chat and you'll hear what's been happening at the Ballater Gallery lately. So welcome inside. So you've seen outside Ballater on a sunny day. We're in the middle of July and um, the, we're going to try and have this newsletter with a little bit of a twist. Everybody says, David, keep telling us about what's selling. Tell us where the trends are. Tell us where people are investing their money and all of that. So I'm not, I hope I don't, um, you know, go on and on a bit about paintings that have sold. We're not trying to boast about what we're selling, but we're trying to be informative. Also, uh, this video, what we're going to do is because we have a thrill here at the gallery because Helen's here as we're filming just now. Um, a lot of you will know Helen in the gallery and she won't talk in the video, but she is going to be unwrapping as uh, we have six new paintings, I think, which are maybe 10, which have just been literally delivered to the gallery. So you're seeing the gallery in a working day. So um, what I thought was, well, we'll include that and we'll talk about some of the new paintings which have arrived and still tell you about what's been happening. So Friday, uh, today is a Monday, so Friday I was in Glasgow uh, chatting away to somebody earlier explaining this. We're always being asked by customers, oh, you choose the frames. How do you do that? We have nothing to do with choosing frames. Artists choose their own frames. Sometimes we get involved if a person wants a different frame or they want a different type of glass. So on Friday, I was seeing one of our new sign-ups, but I also, at nine o'clock on Friday morning, stopped in to see a phenomenal framer in Glasgow called um, Mark Greer, who is the owner of Art Hire. And really, my goodness, I've never seen such a phenomenal facility for the best of framing. The framer in Aberdeen, who's brilliant as well, called uh, the Belvedere Gallery, Alan, uh, really helps us out there. But this place in Glasgow was just gigantic. And Mark is helping us out, or helping out one of our collectors who's particularly um, discerning and perhaps fussy about getting a new frame perfect. I won't say that, which painting. So then I went to see Robert Kelsey and then I went to see Marion Drummond. And you're probably thinking, hold on, David, Robert Kelsey. That's a big name, but you haven't been representing him. Robert Kelsey is our latest signing. So in the last um, video, I think our latest signing at that point was George Birrell. George Birrell, I think, was signed up, as I say, six weeks ago. And we are cock-a-hoop because I think we've sold six George Birrell paintings. He sent us four, which you may remember in the last newsletter. All of them went and more to, to go. But I'm going to take you mm. over because we're in the process of unwrapping Robert Kelsey's paintings. So Helen's standing at the doorway with one of them. So um, Helen, if you can just take that off, because I'd like the, our clients to see the wonderful uh, beauty of these paintings. So with these, I, I'm pretty sure, sorry, they'll be on the website by Robert Kelsey. So Robert's uh, got all these initials after his name, D-A-M-U-N-I-V-P-E-I-F-R-S, FRSA. He's famous uh, for translucency and clarity of light, particularly in Scotland and Cornwall. He's, he's Glasgow based and uh, he went to Glasgow School of Art in 1966 to 1970. A great artist and he, as I say, he, he seems to love going to Scotland. You know, so that painting I think is Mull over to Iona. He likes going to Cornwall. Um, but he really captures um, everything about the coast. Here's another one. Robert Kelsey has been showing for, I think, 20 years at the illustrious Thompson's Gallery in uh, Mayfair in London. So this is another coup for the Ballater Gallery, having only been on the go for two years, to have so signed somebody who's uh, at Thompson's. So here we have Another painting, uh, this is actually called Rocks and Sea Pinks. Look at the frames again. Uh, so Robert 
chooses his frames meticulously uh, to get it right. Um, there is a little one here, which I'll just show you. I mean, this, you can see we really are unpacking as we're talking to you. And here's a little one um, called Aaron from Kintyre. Highly investable, highly popular, highly established artist. And I can't actually remember the prices, but they're all on the website. And I think you'll find for this small painting, um, remarkably good value. So we'll go back to the desk and I'll finish uh, talking about Robert and then we'll go into some more news. Right, so <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. I'm not laughing at anything else. I'm certainly not, not laughing at my colleague Helen. Um, but, oh, did you hear a slight laughter there? She said she's not saying one word. Um, anyway, so let, just finishing off our newest signing, Robert Kelsey. Great to meet Robert and his wife Jean down uh, in the outskirts of Glasgow. And as I say, um, terrific name. And um, Look at these paintings if you have a love of Scotland and its countryside, because I think the majority of the paintings Robert's going to send us will be exactly like that. Iona, Mull, Arran, perhaps um, further north. I think he's got a real love of the Hebrides as well. And um, Robert Kelsey's in major collections uh, around the world, including the Duke of Bedford, um, the Turnberry Hotel, and many uh, financial institutions. So that's a bit about Robert Kelsey. As I said to you, um, at the last newsletter, we were talking about our newest signing at that point, who was George Birrell. So um, if you have a look just up there, uh, Tom, the peachy colored uh, painting, which is called Pier Houses. And then Helen, if you want to move around the corner, um, if you go down, Tom, to the bottom left one of the black one, the black painting, these are new George Birrell paintings, which have just arrived because um, we sold Castle in the Trees, we sold Zulu, and we sold uh, Yachts by Headland and Sunset Castle. Tom will drop all of these in which have sold, just to let you know, again, the popularity of our previously newest signing, George Birrell. And actually, I don't know if any of you remember, there was a painting which we highlighted called Rugby by the Beach, a really unusual painting by George, and again, snapped up um, by somebody for a... Um, a birthday present. So that was a bit about George Biddle. Talking about some of the other names, which I think I said the last time, some artists have almost like blips where they don't sell anything for a few months and then all of a sudden they sell quite a lot. And that could well happen with George Biddle. But funnily enough, we hadn't sold quite a few paintings for the famous Anne Orham for a couple of months. And then all of a sudden we had new paintings arrive, wonderful new paintings by Anne Orham, and um, they went so quickly. So they included, they'll drop in now, um, Midsummer Flowers, September Flowers, uh, Plocked in Summer, and Spring Flowers. Now these very important paintings by Anne Orham, all to sell from Ballater. Two of them were eight and a half thousand pounds, one of them was about four and a half thousand pounds. They'll all be dropping in as I'm talking. And, you know, I couldn't be more delighted. Anne Orham sells through the Thackeray Gallery in Kensington and had previous, just before I got these paintings, had a hugely successful uh, sale there. So we're, we're very flattered that here we are in Ballater comparing ourselves with galleries like Thackeray for um, Anne Orham and uh, Thompson's for, for Robert Kelsey. Talking about big names also, Joe Hargan, who the fabulous new paintings I look behind and debutante are in the window have a look at our website at what's all sold by Joe Hargan. It's, it's incredible. You know, he's got a big following. And if you look now at Nightwatch, Rhythms in, Rhythm in Blue, Party Trick, and The Curator, all snapped up. Um, we also spoke, I think, about the fact, we did, maybe didn't mention them because they only arrived a week or two ago, but we have uh, five new paintings which arrived by the one and only Ian Faulkner. Tom, if you just quickly have a look. So we've actually still got the five paintings here, but two have already sold. And the ones to sell are San Francisco and Soho Solitude have both sold. But, and I have somebody coming in today about one that Tom's just shown, Ben Lomond. But get in touch with me really quickly because 
Uh, I can't remember exactly, but I think these have been here for less than, less than a week and two sold already. Um, talking about Ian Faulkner, I, I don't think Alistair Little will mind me telling you that Alistair Little was recommended by me to me by Ian Faulkner. So I think a lot of you know that Alistair Little has been selling a lot of paintings. I'll sit down for a minute. But we have one painting only in the gallery by Alistair Little. If you could just have a look at it over there, Tom. Um, look at the detail. It's called Undercard, which I think is a boxing term. I've mentioned this before, that I know absolutely hee-haw about boxing, but I'd have that painting in my house in a heartbeat. Look at what's been sold by Alistair Little. Almost everything. That painting's only been here for a few days. Nothing Good Gets Away. Nothing Good Gets Away was a painting, very unusual painting by Alistair Little, of two kids on a sort of Southern America beach. And it was talking, a, a, it was, you know, he loves film, he loves theatre. And that painting really told a story. I wasn't sure if that painting would run away because it was a totally different subject matter. But nothing good, good get, nothing good gets away. We could have sold that four times with people unhappy that they didn't get a chance to buy it. And it's, I think it actually sold within about an hour. Um, this tiny island, spectacular painting again. I think it was boxes with the sea behind. That also sold. And I can also tell that you have got a new painting literally being varnished by Alistair Little on his easel at the moment. Um, probably probably the biggest painting by Alistair Little, and it's called Portcullis, is on its way. Um, don't turn around, Tom, but I am being distracted by a sort of mad lady in a yellow coat, but thankfully they're not coming in right at this moment. I must be putting them off on my summer shirt. What else has showed, sold? Well, Michael Clark's Little Black Dress. Um, snapped up like that. Have a look there. We've a new Michael Clark called The Waiter in Venice. Uh, Mike's a great guy, great fun, and... Um, we have a couple of his beautiful golfer paintings here with nothing big at the moment. Um, also, Tom, we're chatting about what's sold. These have been left for Helen to wrap, and this was just sold yesterday, a cracking uh, painting by Glenn Schooler called um, Blue Scallop Boat at St. Monan's. Um, you know, Schooler, again, London Galleries, Billcliffe, Open Eye, has done very, very well for here, and I'm delighted to say that we have new paintings by Glenn Schooler here. Look at this, Hen House and Wheelbarrows. How classy is that painting? And if you do an about turn, um, Tom, when you finish this to the easel, where Helen is, and have a look at another painting uh, with the Hen series, and this is called Hen House and Winter Sun. Totally incredible painting. Look at the hens in detail. This is the view from Glenn Schooler's farmhouse in the winter. But I've talked about Glenn Schooler before, and my goodness, doesn't he capture blue in a way that I haven't seen by many other people. This gorgeous painting by David Smith is going off to its new home in Glasgow later today to a very... Uh, very discerning and very, very, um, very clever guy who, I wouldn't say too much, but he's got the most wonderful taste in interior designs and art. So that's getting whisked off uh, there. Talking about David, have a look at this new painting, Tom. I don't think this was here before. This is um, Pilot Cutter Crinan. Again, we all, we've all talked about David Smith's paintings before. Great value, this is 40 by 40 inches, roughly four feet by four feet, including the wonderful gold leaf frame. And um, at 5,000 pounds, it's a heck of a size of painting for that price. Have a peep up above it, and Anne Orham sent us also up a new painting called Plockton Sailing Boats. So many people love uh, Plockton. Um, if you do just a turn to the left, Tom, just to talk to people about the new Linda Park paintings, we have St Andrews, we have Sky, we have a lovely painting called Fusion. And um, Tom, if you want to just go behind the easel and have a, a quick look at the um, St Cyrus painting, which is newly in. Linda, again, always popular. We sold two paintings at the weekend. Uh, a painting of Arden Murchin and a painting of Talisker Bay at Sky. 
But have a look at this. Light and shade on St. Cyrus Beach. I only got to know St. Cyrus a couple of years ago and it's, I, I don't think I'd be exaggerating by saying one of the most beautiful um, beaches I've ever seen. I think as we spoke the last time, we spoke about 11 new paintings or eight new paintings, small paintings and a couple of bigger ones by Jackie Henderson, who we really struggled to get new work from. I think we've only three or four left. Um, they're great value. Look at the still life with the three daisies at £750. And there's another one at only £595, the Welsh dresser. So a lot of new paintings arriving at the gallery um, all the time. Um, I wanted also, um, Helen, you're in the middle of unpacking here. So we have new paintings arrived. They won't all be able to be shown at the gallery by the one and only Marion Drummond. Just, well, I've not seen this. Um, and you've not seen it, Helen. So they are, look, there's a little painting there, Tom. Um, but in fact, it's not that little, but it just popped out and unwrapped. Helen, can you try and unwrap this one, this big one? Just look. Absolutely incredible. I'm sorry because we literally are unwrapping at the moment. I don't have the names, the sizes and the prices, but this painting must be about four feet, including the frames. Beautiful um, Faro and Ball colours with the gold leaf paint there. And Helen, if we could just move right over here. And Tom, you can show the other little painting that Helen's just unwrapped. Look at the fabulous painting of the cupcakes and the one of the flowers with the blue and white Delph jug and the matching um, little top for the, the painting. Um, so these are Marion Drummond paintings. Helen's just about to go and get the Margaret Evans paintings because Margaret sent up some beautiful paintings and uh, we'll unwrap them for a moment. So let's hold on for a second. Here's, here comes Helen with the Margaret Evans. Right, thanks Helen, you're ready. And here are Margaret Evans. So Margaret Evans, one of the best painter of pastels in the world. We've couriered Margaret's paintings to oh, New Zealand, to America, to all over the place. This is Sullivan, S-U-I-L-V-A-N, shadows, pastel and gouache. Just a beautiful atmospheric painting. And let me show you this one here. I think there are four or six in total by Margaret. New paintings which have just arrived. Isn't this glorious? This is just up the road from Ballater on the way to Braemar, and this is Abergeldy Castle, virtually the neighbour of Balmoral. And if anybody remembers from three or four years ago from the flooding, this was the castle that almost fell into the river. Look at the colours, look at the warmth, which actually, arguably, only Margaret Evans with her skill with pastels um, seems to manage to achieve. The warmth, the depth, the tradition, but also with a modern twist. So that's Margaret Evans. So we're almost there, because I know my time limit for these newsletters, but hopefully we've covered enough about what's going on. I would like to talk here about two new paintings. We've just unpacked them on Saturday of, uh, by the wonderful Muriel Barclay. And funnily enough, we were talking again about high quality frames. These frames are gorgeous to highlight the beauty and the summary aspect of these paintings, which Muriel has um, recently painted for us. So look at this one. We have Sea View, two ladies. Oh, that's just Helen dropping something. Two ladies, two beautiful dogs sitting under a parasol. How many of us want to be like that? Um, well, and then have a look here. This is Summer Fizz, a crowd of ladies. Could it be Marbella? Could it be Quinta de Lago? Could it be Palma? Wherever it could be, or it really could be so many places. It might even be Ely. It might even, <laughs> might even be Stonehaven. But it's a beautiful way that Muriel captures the female form. And look at this cracker up there, Tom, the way she 
captures lantern dance of ballet dancers. That's a big painting. As I've said to you before, she gets colour, she gets uh, femininity, she gets movement, uh, Muriel Barclay. I want to finish off by just saying, come to Ballater, we're open seven days a week, study the website, have a look, remember red dots mean sold, and we're still sending paintings to Glasgow, Edinburgh, I'll often come to your door, London, we're couriering, in fact, two paintings are going to Saffron Walden and Chichester uh, tomorrow, and uh, so we're very, very happy to accommodate you. Tom, could you just, I typically forget things, could you just show the David Smiths that were just hung yesterday? This one here, uh, if you look at the spelling of the painting, it's saying Creels and Flags, Gardenstown, for those who don't know much about the Northeast, some funny pronunciations, and although it says Gardenstown, the locals pronounce it Gamery. So that's a wonderful, colourful view of Gamery. And to the right, newly finished, beached boats on the Isle of Skye. Look at the way David Smith captures um, the sky, the sea, the houses. And these look just terrific, be in a, in a modern house environment or in a traditional house environment. Right, the end is near. One more thing I wanted to say just before we finish off. I don't think I told you all in the last newsletter, we, after the two years since I've been here of trying, at last we've got Lawrence Broderick, the famous, famous sculptor of bronzes, has agreed to sign with us. And Lawrence, who won't mind me telling people that he's well in his 80s, and he drove up, I think it's from Cambridgeshire, to his house in Skye, then came down to Ballater to see us with the most fantastic bronzes. Here we have Aileen Ban Otter, a solid bronze by Lawrence Broder. It's beautiful, so tactile, £3,120. They are investment pieces. Look at the go gorgeous orangey Otter maquette. It's almost lying there waiting to be tickled, and the detail on the tail. I suppose Lawrence probably is famous more than anything else for otters, but there is also another one that came in of a salmon. To avoid confusion, we still support David Meredith massively, and we are always going to have David Meredith bronzes. And this wonderful here is only 1,200 pounds. So we now have Lawrence Broderick, but we also still have David Meredith because we know how many of you support him. So try and come and visit us. This is the middle of July. We're hoping to see you in August and September. Myself, Helen and Fiona, and Marion now as well, will all be here. Come and see us, but always, if you need anything out of hours, you can phone me or email me at david at and I'll have a great summer. Bye.